Yeah, we're ready. Just uh, first, when you kind of look back on on uh, Liz Amaro, kind of how, how do you think the guys played in that your third game? Um, I would say okay. I thought we made some improvement in some areas. Um, the thing I was probably most pleased with was the fact that playing a game against a team that um, played some non-traditional looks and a lot of um, unusual alignments and exotic blitzes and that sort of thing, I thought for the most part we communicated and handled that pretty well. Um, so I was encouraged by that. Um, discouraged by the fact that when we had an opportunity to, to uh, put the game away, so to speak, there, um, just didn't quite get it done. And hopefully we'll learn from that, have a chance to do it again at some point. What uh, what'd you think of Patrick Miller and his, his first chance to get out there and get some action? You know, I was just glad, again, for, for him, just like I talked about with some of these other young guys, when you have a chance to get out there, you have a chance to say, okay, now I've done it, so the next time it won't be my first time. And, uh, you know, he didn't get a lot of plays, um, but what he did, did a decent job, and hopefully he'll be in position to uh, to do some more. Would you say that right tackle position right now is pretty fluid between him and Avery, or is Avery still at it? Um, I, I wouldn't say that it's fluid necessarily, but as we've um, really tried to say since we started the season, no, no job is necessarily guaranteed from one game to the next. And... There are, there are a couple of guys in particular that are pushing for more playing time, and, and that's one of them. So we'll, we'll see as the season progresses. I've, I've been known to change lineups at various different times in the year. Sometimes game four or five, a young guy will come on, sometimes even later in the season. about Reese Disney, how's he played the last last two games? How did you sort of assess his play? Um, you know, I thought he came back and um, played well against Mississippi State. This game wasn't his best, and I'm really not sure why. He and I have talked about that, um, and I don't think it was a lack of effort. It was just a number of technical things that he didn't do as well as he could. Um, but he's a smart kid, and it means a lot to him. So I think he'll he'll get better and recognize what he needs to do. You see a, a chemistry starting to come together a little bit with these guys now that they've had a couple of games to, to kind of play together some. Yeah, I think so. I think they're getting there, and, and they're, you know, the more success that we have, the more of that will come. Um, so hopefully this last week was another step in that direction. How about the, the challenge this week, uh, you know, facing LSU's defensive line? Challenge is an understatement. <laughs> They're one of those defenses that you just don't you don't see a weak link. And they're good everywhere. They're good in the back end. They're good in the middle with their linebackers and, and they're really good up front. But I know this, in this league, if you don't handle the four guys up front, then what the rest of those guys do doesn't matter because it's irrelevant because the play never gets started. So we see it as an unbelievable challenge, but also an opportunity to go out there and compete against some of the best in the world at our age. Anything else? All right, man. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate it.